In Ukraine and neighboring nations, demand for iodine pills has skyrocketed due to the approaching possibility of numerous nuclear catastrophes. The potassium iodine-containing pills can aid in shielding against the radioactive iodine that can be emitted in a nuclear catastrophe. By flooding the thyroid with iodine, they prevent the radioactive form from being absorbed. If there is radioactive iodine in the environment, they must be taken consistently to be effective. Nonetheless, the pills may cause severe responses in those with specific medical disorders, such as an allergy to iodine. As nuclear worries grew throughout the war, radiation meters and iodine pill sales increased even in Russia. Watch this video till the end for you to know what actions you can take in the event of a nuclear explosion. The effects of a nuclear bomb explosion depend on the size of the weapon, how and where it is detonated, the amount of energy it releases, and the size of the fireball and shock wave it produces. According to the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, those who are close to the blast should take precautions to protect themselves, including turning away and covering their eyes, laying face down on the ground with their hands tucked under them, and if possible, covering their nose and mouth with a piece of cloth. The best course of action for surviving is to remain inside. The greatest shelters are multi-story brick or concrete structures with few windows or basements. While any building is safer than being outside, finding shelter is essential to prevent deadly radioactive particles or fallout from coming back to Earth after a nuclear explosion. Stay away from roofs and outer walls where fallout lands. Those caught outside during the blast should remove contaminated outer layers of clothes and wash exposed areas of the body. Survivors should turn off ventilation systems and close doors and windows until the fallout cloud has passed. After observing the survivors of the bombings in Hiroshima and Nagasaki, it is obvious that the effects of a nuclear explosion rapidly lessen with increasing distance from the epicenter. The optimal approach is to relocate people from polluted locations, and the greatest method for individuals to protect themselves if they are farther away is to avoid fallout and not consume contaminated food. Well, here's a very important fun fact. Health officials advise avoiding using hair conditioner after a nuclear explosion when showering or washing. Conditioners can trap radioactive contaminants in the hair and make it difficult to rinse them out as opposed to washing them away. So, there you have it. Thanks so much for staying tuned. If you have questions, please type them in the comment section below. Hey, this channel would like to give back to the viewers if it reaches 100,000 subscribers and 50,000 views for every video. Please help us reach our goal by subscribing to the channel. Give this video a thumbs up and support us by sharing this video to your friends too so we can make more videos just like this. See you in the next one.